I can't go back to you, my friend. Don't even ask. You know you left me lonely, I could tell them the whole story It may take a couple hours, I've got time, let's get to chat to How could I explain the situation? Man, it's so damn complicated, where do I start, where do I end? I should go back to bed Mayung Adelso Tanan, today's video we're going to take you for a close and personal of this all new 2024 Mitsubishi Triton 2.4 4x2 GLS That is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission and for this video, I'm going to take this Mitsubishi Triton for a startup and a full in-depth tour review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this video presentation. So here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and get started. The LED daytime running lights turns on as you unlock the car or the, or the truck. Visually, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the vehicle, it will automatically fold in. Meanwhile, when you're unlocking the vehicle, the side mirrors will automatically fold out again. Standard feature for the all-new Mitsubishi Triton in the Philippines, both GLS 4x2 and Athlete 4x4, is the company's smart keyless entry system. With a key fob in you, you will able to wirelessly lock and unlock the vehicle by pressing the black button, which are found in both front door handles. To start the all-new Mitsubishi Triton, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. The all-new Philippine spec Triton in all variants, except the Athlete 4x4, is equipped with a hydraulically assisted power steering system with a rack and pinion setup. For the GLS variant, it all comes with a three-spoke leather wrap steering wheel with sport grips attendant to perforate the design on the sides, satin silver accent at the bottom spoke, and mounted controls are found at the left and right spokes of the wheel with a touch of some satin silver accents. Beep, beep. 
Under a new 4 and 16 2.4 liter turbocharged diesel engine, the all new Triton is paired with either a manual or an automatic transmission having both 6 speed units. Showing here is a 6 speed automatic gearbox for the GLS trim featuring manual shifting capabilities using the plus and minus on the gear shifter. A reverse camera with dynamic trajectory lines as well as a 360 degree view camera with moving object detection is standard for the Triton GLS. When this car is all new, the engine is all new as well. The Mitsubishi Triton gets a two new engine choice, whether it is a 2.4 liter twin turbocharged or a 2.4 liter turbocharged, and both of them carry the 4N16 code name, and also it is a diesel. What we are looking at is the 2.4 liter turbocharged diesel engine that features a dual overcam, 16 valves, and an inline 4 cylinders with electronic common rail direct injection, variable geometry turbo with intercooler, and MyVec clean diesel technology. It produces 181 horsepower at 3500 rpm and 430 Nm of torque at 2250 rpm. Fuel tank size is 75 liters with emission rating of Euro 4. In terms of transmission, a manual or an automatic gearbox having both 6-speed units is the transmission choice for this engine, and the drivetrain of the all-new Triton GLS is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. I've been driving the all-new Triton GLS within the Metro for two days, and as this truck puts into a test, the fuel economy rating of the all-new Triton is approximately around 8.5 km per liter as I traveling within the city and as I take this both in the city and in the highway, it took around 12.6 km per day to combine. That my friends, the Mitsubishi Triton with a single turbo engine is still economical with a tad bit consuming in terms of fuel, just a tad bit kumbaga. After all, the Triton is not bad for some road trips out there whether you go within the city or out of town together with some passengers and some stuff to carry for a summer vacation trip. In short, matipid siya kapag nakatakbong pogi. Nak naman! <laughs> Now let's talk about what's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen presenting the all new Mitsubishi Triton. It is a new juggernaut of the pickup truck industry in the country that delivers innovation, more capability and a fusion of strength. Started in 1978, the pickup truck of Mitsubishi has existed known as the L200 and through the years, the Triton has produced 6 generations so far. What we are now seeing is the latest 6th generation model and finally we are now calling it the Triton because Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation decided to meet the international needs instead they used the nameplate Strada that we've known before. Just a fun fact, the Mitsubishi Strada that we have in the country before was also known as the Mitsubishi Triton in other markets out there and it is really surprising that the Philippine market is joining the clan. In this video presentation, we will be looking at the latest 6th generation Triton with a high-end GLS variant. And the big question that I want to answer, is the Mitsubishi Triton better than the previous Strada? And does it beat the current Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x2? Let's find out. Sayonara to the Strada and Konnichiwa to the Triton. As we go along to the entire truck, the Triton makes a huge difference from the previous generation known as the Strada with a new tough and aerodynamic design as well as a much larger stance. I made a preview video of the Triton with the same variant last year and a lot of you are mostly saying that the truck's design is kind of ugly. Come to think again, if you want to hate the Triton's design and its aspects, just watch it until the end 
and see what are the amazing benefits that you can get from this truck compared to the previous generation and hopefully you will change your mind. Let's start at the front face. The all-new Triton receives the new generation of Mitsubishi's dynamic shield design language which is more squarish and muscular compared to the previous Strada. For the GLS, it gets a gloss black front grille with some gorgeous chrome accent highlights from the dynamic shield design that runs across from the headlights and the DRLs to the fog lights itself which is sort of like a C-shaped design with a strong cues. Standard lighting features for the Triton GLS are multi-projector LED headlights with auto lighting control, LED daytime running lights, and LED front fog lights. Sa itsura pa lang ng bagong Triton, this defined as the legendary god of the mythology that would break its way towards destruction. Remember I told you that the overall design of the Montero reminds me of Gordon Ramsay's face? At this point, the overall design of the all-new Triton reminds me of Chef Rush of TikTok, which Gordon will be kawawa naman. Well, kidding aside, and also, this design reminds me of the Expander Cross, pero distinctive siya. On the side profile, the Triton is getting more upscale than before with its boxy design matched with a strong styling cues that makes this truck tougher, bulkier, and destructive. Do you notice that the back portion of the truck if you do, the only Triton eliminates or minimalizes the J-line design from the previous Strata to keep this truck in its muscular shape. This truck gets chrome door handles, side step boards, and chrome side mirrors with LED turning signals and side view camera for the 360 degree view camera by which the side mirrors itself comes with auto folding and power adjusting. At the back, it looks clean and simple with a touch of toned lines making this beast tough. Standard lighting features at the back are the sets of LED rear combination taillights and for the GLS, this also comes with a matte black sports bar which is made of a of a steel bar, of a steel bar kumbaga, that makes this truck even more robust and sporty at the same time. When it comes to its size, the all-new Triton is 15mm longer and 50mm wider than the previous Strada and also the wheelbase itself is 130mm longer. Therefore, this almighty Triton is much bigger and spacious in which every competitor will face their fear and Mitsubishi brings the legendary title thanks to this beast pickup truck. In addition, the all-new Triton is now sitting on the all-new platform with a new ladder and frame chassis for a more torsional rigidity, better rigid structure, and improved driving dynamics upon off-roading as well as driving on-road. As for the interior, you can see there are a lot of improvements compared to the previous Strada. It gets a nice futuristic and tough interior design which meets the likes of a modern era, particularly this floating 9-inch infotainment screen which was seen in many modern cars out there and mind you that this is one of the first pickup trucks having that kind of setup. What is unique for this truck is that it brings back the old-fashioned locking system that kind of brings back from the 90s. Inside there are lots of advanced tech that seems like you were at the topping range variant like the dual zone automatic climb control, digital LCD display for the instrument gauge, and not only that, there are lots of advanced techy goodies that are applied for this truck. Mind you that this is a GLS variant and actually it gets some advanced features that you would get from the Athlete 4x4 which is quite impressive as well as its premiumness inside. What is missing from the Athlete 4x4 to the GLS 4x2 are the power driver seat adjustments. Instead, it gets manual adjustments. Leather seats instead, it gets fabric seats, super select four-wheel drive system, and other advanced safety features like the active yaw control, parking sensors, and whatsoever. In short, the Triton GLS is more focused on the utilitarian side which is perfect for some business purposes as well as a perfect hauler in every need for your family, friends, and other stuff like bigger stuff, industrial stuff, or whatever. Moreover, this truck is not built for an off-road exhibition like you would go crazy on the sand and mud na parang asong ulol and heck, this is not a perfect truck for you. So if you want to do these things, Go for the top trim Athlete 4x4 or if you're up for a budget, Mitsubishi offers a low-end GLX 4x4 but with a manual transmission in which this one is more fun for off-roading so as the base GL 4x4. To end the story, 
the all-new Mitsubishi Triton is a big step up from the Strada because the design and aesthetics as well as its smart and elegant features are absolutely phenomenal. The masculinity is present, the toughness is present, and what I am amazed about this truck is the advanced tech and safety features are present as well. When compared to the current Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x2, the Mitsubishi Triton GLS is the juggernaut between the two of them because despite every aesthetics, this Triton has nailed every spec. Even though this is the GLS bar, it's still you get a 360 degree camera which you don't get from the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2. Plus, the sets of features are well balanced like the mechanical parking brake, manual driver seats, as well as its identity like the reliability, durability, and dependability. When it comes to its affordability, the Triton GLS is slightly affordable than the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 and when it comes to its features, bastante ang Triton GLS. At 1,582,000 Philippine Pesos, this my friends is a heavy duty truck with some smart features that is perfect for a summer vacation trip. The question is, how does this beast drive? We will find out later on the test drive portion, so please stay tuned. The shoes of the Mitsubishi Triton GLS are the sets of 18-inch silver alley rims wrapped in Dunlop Grand Trek 8025 all-terrain tires that measure 265-60 R18. Brakes consist of ventilated discs in front and leading trailing drums at the back. For the suspension, the front gets independent double wishbones in front and rigid type suspension with leaf springs for the rear. The approach, the departure, and the brake over angle of the all-new Triton measures 30.4 degrees, 22.8 degrees, and 23.6 degrees respectively. The minimum ground clearance is at 222 millimeters with a water weighting depth capacity of 800 millimeters. Speaker, bottle holder, and storage. Center locking buttons. Mirror controls. Window controls, all four windows in this car are powered while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. And also you have your window lock. Another speaker right up there. Headlight adjuster, interior brightness adjuster, fuel door release, your bonnet release right, right there. And the driver's seat of this Mitsubishi Triton GLS gets a fully manual adjustments. Got your seat back, height adjuster, and down there is your seat sliding position. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, however, it loses out on the height adjuster. Alright, so let's start it up. When the door closed.
The all-new Mitsubishi Triton GLS gets a 9-inch integrated touchscreen audio system head unit featuring various media connectivity settings including the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto navigation and the sound system itself is provided with 6 speakers. I'm actually impressed for the sound system of the all-new Mitsubishi Triton with a six-speaker sound system actually the sound delivery is absolutely amazing it's not so rough it's not so smooth but it's slightly smooth no it's very crisp leather pad center armrest and underneath you have a good amount of size of storage area. Very good. Swak na swak. Two cup holders. Little storage. And this car is featured with a wireless charging. And you can also use it as your storage. Type-C USB port, regular USB port, power outlet. Got your dual zone automatic climb control system with all the controls located right here. It is very simple to use. Got your fan speed, recirculation, automatic, different modes, and sync. Now, sync means when you turn on, each side will control for both sides, and if you turn off, each side will have individual controls. Air conditioning, on and off, front passenger side temperature, driver side temperature, front and rear defrost, max cooling, two air vents, and in the middle, hazard switch. So this is the infotainment system of the all-new 2024 Mitsubishi Triton GLS and actually the infotainment system of the all-new Triton is actually updated with this floating uh, screen over here. It's give the, it gives this truck a 21st century uh, a vibe. But anyway, the graphics itself uh, is very easy to understand. Responsiveness, okay naman siya. Uh, kind of reminds me of a Nissan setup, kumbaga. But anyway, it's a very good sound. I mean, infotainment system. The quality is great. But before we uh, go through the infotainment system, let's go first with the physical buttons right underneath. So you have your brightness adjuster to your infotainment system, seat tracks, audio, main menu, map, and your camera for your 360 degree. Uh, uh, around view monitor with moving object detection, which is very helpful for for some drivers out there who wanted to bring this truck for a, for a, some off road or even traveling through a narrow road, something like that. But it, anyway, okay. So uh, yes, you have your go back button to go back to any sorts of menus. On the left, you have your one power knob and to the right is your tuning dial so in the infotainment system itself we are at the bluetooth audio stream which are which is currently played so you have your uh, song title information album artist uh, the name of the device of the, of the device that is connected into this infotainment song duration go back with the song go forward the song this is your play and pause now, hit source to go to your media, uh, different media sources. 
which is uh, which is uh, very uh, understandable and also you have your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available for this uh, uh, Triton GLS which is which comes a standard so hit menu to go to your uh, different sets of uh, uh, audio menus like album artwork current list and connections so here are your sets of shortcut buttons alternatively for different media sources and also you have your phone and settings hit menu to go to your main menu so this is the setup of your main menu system all right uh yeah so on the main menu, main menu system it contains your phone info information menu audio uh, home menu yeah it's understandable home menu map connections and settings now let's go first with the phone now on your phone you have your favorite phone book call history dial number text messages connections and so on so on your connections you can go to your Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, connection settings via the devices that you can add with. Go to your Wi-Fi and your USB. Same thing if you go to your audio menu, kumbaga. right? So info. On your info, it contains your notifications, where I am, system information, GPS position, and smartphone connection. There's a shortcut that you could go to your Bluetooth connections. All right, so we are at the main menu again. Hit map to go to your navigation menu. Now, this, this is the map of your navigation menu. Underneath, you have your phone, at home, points of interest, destination, go to your different the search or I mean search your different destination you can zoom in and out and go to your settings okay so hit this one to go to your list, list of menus you have your save location points of interest map settings and icons you can go to your you can go 3d 2d split or something like that It all sort out with your different layouts to your navigation system, which is quite great. Now here's your compass. All right. Okay. Alternatively, hit this one to go to your navigation menu. That's the to your settings now on your settings you have your connections phone navigation sound volume beeps clock customize home and audio menus system voice camera others system updates and apps for the others it contains your display you can adjust the la you can change the language change the keyboard type or you can restore to the to, to the default or settings all to default on the sound settings you have your you can adjust the bass middle treble balance fade bass enhancer speed volume compensation and all that kinds of stuff self-explanatory you can you can play with it you know, whether it's your choice you can play everything that you want to go with it's very responsive good infotainment so panalo ito all right so that's pretty much it in this infotainment system of the all new Mitsubishi Triton GLS
your light and indicator controls and if you locate the at the button at the end of the indicator stock uh, it allows you to go to your uh, auto high beam control as you hit this button now on the steering wheel the left spoke has your volume control seek track and your selection buttons as well as your left and right up and down arrows or scrolling knob and hit this uh, scrolling knob to hit OK. These sets of buttons right here allows you to go to your multi-information display right within the instrument cage. right side of the steering wheel spoke you have your cruise control speed, speed limiter control voice recognition system and your uh, telephone uh, button for your Bluetooth connectivity menu to the right wipe controls The steering wheel on this car or this truck gets a manual tilt oh, and telescopic, you adjust it using this lever right here. Center locking buttons. Okay. Power folding side mirrors to fold the side mirrors in. Press this button. Grip handles located at the A pillar for both uh, driver and front passenger. This uh, tool right here helps you to support while getting in and out of this uh, truck, particularly for short adults. Grip hand uh, on the driver's side, there's no grip handle. Your driver's side sun visor. Reading lights for both driver and front passenger. Interior lights. And hit this button to uh, to turn off the um, I mean to turn off the illuminating light as you open the door. Some glass holder. Manual dimming rear view mirror. And lastly, on top, your passenger airbag indicator. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Grip handle at the seating for the front passenger side. Two-tiered glove box. This is for the upper one. And regularly, this is for the lower part. Both of these two have a good amount of size. It's a decent amount of size as well. Kumbaga.
All right. So that is it. So that is it for this one. We can put this vehicle off and continue with the rest of our review. speaker right there, bottle holder, and some little storage, whether you use it as uh, storage or not, but it's not required for cup holder, so it's required for bottle or storage, whatever you use it for. On both sides located at the B pillars are grip handles, which helps you to support while getting in and out of this uh, truck. It is very helpful for, uh, for short individuals or children. Getting into the rear cabin of the Triton is effortless. Even short adults can climb in thanks to the side step boards and grip handles that the B pillar are installed. Let's talk about space. I did set my driver's seat in my comfortable driving position and as a 5 foot 7 tall person, I did get a good ample amount of legroom and a decent amount of headroom. Overall, the space at the back is right on an average size and even though this is a fabric seat, still the comfort of it is actually superb. Therefore, your friends will enjoy the ride at the back for a long journey. If you locate the strap right beside the center headrest, you are able to fold down the rear seat backs in just one piece. As you fold down the rear seat backs, you will reveal some extra storage space for some items and in that area, you found a jack, a rod to lower down the spare tire and some other tools. On both front seat backs are storage pockets and right in the middle is a power outlet along with USB charging ports which are both type A and type C. On both sides are grip handles at the ceiling for the rear and in the middle on top is a cabin light. Lastly, this truck gets a center armrest with two cup holders. The Mitsubishi Triton's cargo bed measures 1,555mm in length, 1,545mm in width, and 525mm in height with the additional of 820mm for the cargo floor height respectively. Maximum payload is 1,115kg with a towing capacity of 3,500kg. A bed liner and a matte black sports bar are standard to this truck. Plus, there's a spare tire located underneath at the truck bed.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take this all-new Mitsubishi Triton GLS for a thorough test drive. I've been driving this truck for two days and big thanks to Mitsubishi Grand Canyon Iloilo for this wonderful opportunity. In my two days of experience in taking this Triton in the city for some tests, I will be sharing with you what are my thoughts on how this truck performs. First of all, the size. The all-new Mitsubishi Triton is a huge type of a truck, and when I drive it into narrow roads or a congested road, it is a big challenge for that. Thankfully, there is a 360-degree around view monitor or view camera with moving object detection helps you to detect the area to allow a better ease upon taking this truck into that kind of situation like that, as well as some advanced safety features that are applied into the car like the forward collision mitigation, rear cross-traffic alert, blind spot monitoring system, and everything else. Moreover, these advanced safety features are functioning well, which is very helpful in any conditions. In terms of power delivery, the all-new Triton's acceleration is a bit quick to respond, and the 4 and 16 2.4-liter single-turbo diesel engine performs absolutely great even in a little bit of a force. Still, the power delivery of the engine is quite powerful enough to exert. Plus, the engine performs quietly upon cruising na parang takbong pogi kumbaga, even though you can hear a little bit of a grunt to that. Therefore, the NVH level of this truck is a bit on the balanced side with a little bit of a smoothness to it as I drove this truck on the highway matched with nicely comfy fabric seats that made me comfortable to drive this truck like I was sitting on the couch. To prove how powerful this truck is, I put this truck into an acceleration test with some passengers and some stuff at the bed and therefore this truck performs very well and it stays fast as it is. Na parang trend lang ang bilis niya o ng mga provincial jeep kumbaga o di kaya yung sports car na parang mapa on throttle ka kagaya ni Ratis Reds eh. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Okay, okay, go. One, two, three. Wow! 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 See what a roller coaster ride. Anyway, with the 181 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque, the power delivery of the truck is fast and powerful with less effort. The 6-speed automatic transmission is actually responsive as well, but the timing between the engine and the acceleration is kind of unusual because I could feel a slight delay between the two mechanisms upon shifting. Nevertheless, the engine grunt is kind of continuous but the speed acceleration is at the right point. Overall, it's not bad when it comes to its shifting performance of the automatic transmission. For the manual shifting, however, the action itself is definitely quite alright, but the only problem is that there are no paddle shifters available, even the topping range athlete 4x4, and that is the only zonk that I want to give for the all-new Triton. Nonetheless, the transmission of the truck performs conveniently well. For the handling, the Triton gives a good grip whether on and off-road, and it hits at the right spot without any harm. During the off-road exhibition in Nowhere, the Triton keeps on track and the grip of its wheels stays intact which delivers a good traction resulting in a course correction. Even though this is a 4x2, the truck is manageable in an off-road course like in this sandy area that you see today. It proves that the all-new Triton is the juggernaut of all pickup trucks out there due to its power delivery and the suspension to this car are firm enough to handle but with a little bit of a bounciness to it and still the ride quality is absolutely great. To be honest with you, the all-new Triton is a fun truck to drive when you go into a crazy adventure and when it comes to the city, the Triton drives like an SUV due to its smoothness on the road but not as smooth as mayonnaise but it's like butter. Compared to the all-new Ranger, 
The Ranger is soothing to drive with a smooth steering, acceleration, shifting, good comfort, and above all things. On the Triton, however, it has the same qualities as the Ranger, but it is more focused on a rugged utilitarian side, which is not as good as the Ranger. But the Triton is great when it comes to its balance features that are mechanical and advanced. Plus, the materials are high quality and top-notch to its class, and therefore it could last for long and be suitable in all conditions. Reliability-wise, the Triton is one of the great choices. The functionality to its features are well-functioned and easy to use despite that all the features of the truck are at the top of the game, and I'm really surprised that it is a great departure from the Strada. I am really glad that the all-new Triton is not just your ordinary pickup truck, but it is a pickup truck that has a fusion of strength and great innovation, which meets the needs of every person in the modern age. And the technological aspects is not just for cool, but it is very helpful in every need. As per a passenger's feedback, they really like the all-new Triton because they really like the sets of features in every aspect of the truck that it kind of reminds them of the cars that they have ridden in Korea like the Hyundai Palisade, Mercedes-Benz, BMW or whatever. In short, they really like the qualities in each spec of the truck and they really enjoy the ride on it. I have loaded some stuff onto the bed of the truck and when it comes to its capability, the Triton is one of the best trucks that you can get which delivers you a great amount of space in the bed. Perfect for a summer vacation. For its steering, the all-new Triton still uses a hydraulic power steering system and the steering feel is on the right amount and does not seem so soft unlike the Ford Ranger. In fact, this truck gives you better handling and better control upon taking it behind the wheel. At this moment, I can tell you that the all-new Triton is not just a capable truck that is needed every day. As a matter of fact, this truck is a killer truck that takes it into a completely different level of comfort, technology, ride quality, and overall drivability added with reliability, durability, heavy duty, and greater capability when compared to the previous generation or the previous Strada here in the country. With that, nothing can beat this juggernaut pickup truck and that's what the all-new Mitsubishi Triton is all about. How much more for the Athlete 4x4? Comment down below if you want to see a feature video on my channel.
In terms of safety, the all-new Mitsubishi Triton GLS are equipped with 3 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, active stability and traction control, heel start assist, trailer stability assist, forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian protection, blind spot warning system with lane change assist, rear cross traffic alert, auto high beam, 360 degree view camera, keyless operation lock unlocking system, ELR seatbelts and seatbelt reminder in all seats, Isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, and alarm system with immobilizer. Special thanks to Mitsubishi Grand Canyon Iloilo for giving me this opportunity to take this all-new Mitsubishi Triton GLS out from the dealer for two days. If you are interested to buy the car of your dreams from Mitsubishi or other inquiries, please feel free to visit their dealership or you may contact them by the contact details located in the description box below. Thank you for tuning in to the Startup and a full in-depth tour review of the all-new 2024 Mitsubishi Triton 2.4 4x2 GLS that is mated to a 6-speed automatic gearbox. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time and for more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you, more power, I love you all, and mabuhay!